Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. My name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I am extremely excited about this video because this showed up and I am, I'm so happy to play with this. This literally just came a couple of hours ago and I just wanna sit down and do a look and swatch this because it's releasing today when you see this video. So if you wanna play with Adept's new Flying Fiddles palette, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. And if makeup is your therapy and your love, if it makes you happy and you wanna hang out with someone that feels the same way, definitely consider joining the community. I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. So how are you? I am excited. Now, normally I would not even be doing my makeup this late, but I, y'all. So let me tell y'all the story. I was just minding my business and my phone went off. It was like that shop app, the cha-ching, and it said order placed Adept Cosmetics. So when I clicked on it, it said Flying Fiddles and I was like, oh my gosh, she is sending it to me. So she is the owner. Her name is Sandra. I've talked to her here and there over the years, but I reached out to her just to say thank you for sending me this palette. And she said that she doesn't really watch a whole lot of beauty content anymore but she was binging like some of my videos and you know just sent this probably as a little thank you so I just want to say thank you to Adept Cosmetics for sending me this y'all already know if you watch my priority brands video Adept is up there in the VIP priority brands so it shouldn't surprise you that I would be purchasing this palette if it was not gifted to me so I just want to let you know about that little priority brands bias so let's go ahead and get into this palette it is coming out today as I said and I want you all to have all of the information I do know that the site has been updated so I'm gonna just slide over so we can just go over the product information. So this is the Flying Fiddles palette. I will check Instagram because I don't know the exact launch time, but the date is going to be February 2nd, 2024. So you see the palette here, we can just look at the swatches. Of course, I'm gonna show you my swatches. I love this packaging, y'all. So this palette is $62 and I will find the page with all the affiliate codes because you'll be able to take some uh, percent off. And she actually sent an email if you subscribe to her email list where you can purchase this for 15% off. But I think you have to have an individual code. So here are the product facts to read before purchase. And while I read this, I'll probably scroll to some uh, footage of me opening the palette and showing you the palette up close. This is the neutral palette many of you asked four years ago. It took a while to come to fruition because it takes about a year and a half to make a great quality cosmetic product in a reputable, GMP certified lab. The palette is named after the Siberian iris with a muted grungy twist. It contains four pigmented but blendable mattes, one multi-chrome, four shimmery duo chromes, and six shimmers. Keep your palette in a cool dry place. The shimmers in this palette are very shimmery and will require a good primer to prevent fallout increasing. Please be aware of this before purchasing. Also to take note, the marble shape will have slight differences from palette to palette. So, you know, that's kind of like a custom shade. So nobody's marble shade is going to be the same. And that's gonna be the shade Scorpion Grass. This is a 100% glitter free palette. It has a smooth butter like formula the palette is vegan glitter free bht free and does not contain mineral oil and will work best when applied with fingers versus a brush this palette contains pressed pigments that may stain the skin pressed pigments are not safe for eye use in the usa but are safe for eye use in the eu also this palette is magnetic and is made with 15 percent upcycled materials the pants are removable i like to read this because i think this information is very important i really love how transparent Adept Cosmetics is about their materials, about their process, just about how their shadows are made. I've always appreciated that. And this one, it doesn't say that it has the shea butter in there. I know that if you have oily lids, sometimes 
the Adept Cosmetics shimmers can crease if they're too, too creamy. So I just wanted to mention that. All right, I'm popping over to Instagram so we can see when this palette is releasing. You can see the swatch is being done there. This palette is releasing 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So it looks like 11 o'clock a.m. All right, well, it's going up earlier than I thought, so I better get going on this. So this packaging is beautiful. This is different than their previous palettes because this has the fabric and you know the other palettes have kind of that faux leather. So this is a different look for them. You see we have the gold hardware that says Flying Fiddles. So let's go ahead and open this. I can see the inspiration from the Siberian Iris, but I definitely see their own take on this palette. Just turning the exposure down. I just want the colors to look accurate. So again, we have those four mattes and we have the 11 shimmers. So let's go ahead and get into the swatches. Starting with Dahlia, Tan Toffee Rose, and Metal Foam. This right here, this metal foam, I'm gonna have to use that in the first look. That is, no, I don't know. This looks so good. We have Arizima and Day Lily to finish up the top row. For the middle row, we have Daffodil, Viola Bronze, and Scorpion Grass. Or is it Viola? Like Viola Davis? Like Viola Swamp from Miss Nelson is missing. Okay, sorry. Ooh, scorpion grass is really pretty. Look at that. Next we have pon pom button. I can't. Is it pon pom? Pom pon. Lord. Pom pom button. I can't say it right. And yellow browning. Pom pon. Every time I think I have it right, I don't say it right. All right, let's move on. Pom pon. Ooh. On the bottom, we have Sahara, Honey Splurge, and Blue Crown. Look at Blue Crown, y'all. I love blue-brown dual chromes. That is so pretty. Last, we have Rust Bunny and Green Kelly. And you know what? I'm thinking about this. Oh, I feel like I'm going to dirty the front of this palette. I'm going to try not to because it's so pretty. All right, here is Rust Bunny. So this is Flying Fiddles. This is beautiful. I'm going to turn the ring light off. Look at that shine. That is so pretty. I'll zoom in some too. Please let me know your thoughts on this color story. I love it even more seeing it swatched out. Now this palette definitely warrants more than two looks, but for today, since I want to have a little bit of inspiration so you can see the swatches and everything, I'm just gonna do two. Let me tell you what's on my face as far as the depth goes. I am wearing a bronzing palette and a face palette. Ayana is the bronzing palette that I used. And this is Stella. So I love that fiery kind of blush light on my cheeks. Let's come up with something with a flying fiddles. My eyeshadow primer is the Pat McGrath. Oh, I'm so excited and I have clean brushes. Oh, there's just so many ways to go with this, but I'm gonna go into the Tan Toffee Rose shade and I'm using a Bristles Beauty EO1DL brush. I thought about doing one on each eye as well, but that's just, no, I need the full put together look. This is such a Pat McGrath shade right here. And I love it. It's like a cool mauve. Yellow, 
that blended out so easily and this is a natural hairbrush but i'm going to switch over to a synthetic just so you can see this is a bk beauty 201 brush and we're going to go into day lily i'm going to focus that on the outer corner this shape was so pigmented it's going into it very gently but you can see that added a lot of depth right there oh that is really nice actually These two shades are so complimentary and just look at how well they blended. Like really, really nice. Oh man, we're gonna have to get into a shimmer now. Metal foam, that's the first one I swatched and I was like, wow, that is gorgeous. So I'm just gonna take my finger into metal foam. And then we'll go back into Daylily to just Deepen that up a little bit on the outer corner again. I want to go back into Tan Toffee Rose for the under eye. This is a Blend Bunnies B1 brush. A little uh, large for the under eye, but I'm just going to keep it really diffused. Just really light. So that's what we're working with. And we need an inner corner, oh, wait, wait. And I just think we should go into Honey Splurge for that. Y'all probably already know what liner is gonna go great with this. Uh, it's one I use all the time, if you're on here a lot. I'll be back with my liner and mascara and let you know what I'm thinking about this first look. All right, I am back with the finished look and Y'all, I love it. For my liner, I use Victoria Beckham in the shade Fig. And then I'm also wearing my Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. This is a yes. I did have one of Summer Friday's lip oil, but I had this uh, Chanel lipstick that was just sitting right here. I just wanted to add a little more color to uh, my face. But yes to all of this. I love it. I love this look and for me to be filming it uh, this late because I usually don't, it was so easy to just throw together these three shades. I'm already feeling like this is the perfect neutral palette for Adept Cosmetics and possibly for me. Let's get into one more look and I will be back at the end to wrap it up. All right, you guys, I'm back to do look number two. It is Friday morning, so I'm getting ready for work and I'm ready to get into this palette once I find it. All right, let's do it. This blush is so blush heavy today. Like I did not mean to do all of that. It's Gucci Intense Plum and it's intense, all right. Oh, let's see. So I'm gonna go into the Toffee Rose again, Tan Toffee Rose. That's gonna be the best transition shade for me in this palette, but we're gonna go a completely different direction, so don't worry. And I think that if you aren't feeling tan toffee rose because I don't know if you can really blend the Sahara shade this one out to be a transition that's gonna be a little bit deep but you know just grab your bronzer because we probably have that handy you know I'm just gonna put that in the... oh my god this is so much blush today like I really did not intend on doing that and the brush I'm using is from MSQ, it's from Amazon, and that looks great. I don't want any more than that because today I'm going into Green Kelly. These mattes are blending really nicely together. All right, enough of that. Blue Crown, that's that girl right here. I Gotta at least have that going on in this video. It's really pretty, yes. My students are not gonna be happy today. In case you uh, don't know, my students do not like me to wear any makeup, and if I do, they want like natural glam. So we'll see, we'll see how they feel about this one. They let me know. It's not my fourth graders, it's the ones that are fifth graders now. They're not into what I'm doing, and that's okay. 
because I'm into it. Yes to this. Absolutely. Let's do scorpion grass because I want to see that on the eye. I think that would be beneficial for this initial video. Just want to make sure I'm using all the, you know, all the shades are great. But blue crown was a standout. Scorpion grass because of the marbleized shade. I just want to make sure I use that. Metal foam is really beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. That's the ticket. Going into Tan Toffee Rose for the under eye again. I, I love this shade. I think Tan Toffee Rose is like a grounding shade in this palette for me. A little smoky mauve shade. We need an inner corner highlight. Do we want to do, hmm, this is going to be tough. Let's do yellow brown. I'm so surprised I have not used Dahlia because y'all know shades like this. Those are my favorites. But I'm going to use yellow brown in for the inner corner today. I really want to use these yellow shades. When I think about the Siberian Iris, these are kind of the two shades that we saw. We saw that blue. We saw that that yellow and you know this is loosely inspired the flying fiddle so i think this is a great look right here you know we have an assembly today too like this is just great i'll just stay on and do my liner and mascara i'm taking victoria beckham in the shade navy you are And of course, we're finishing off with Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. On my lips, I'm wearing the YSL Candy Glaze in Nude Pleasure today. No line or anything like that. Here is the finished second look. Let me know what you think. I, I love this better than the first one. I really love this. And it's 713, y'all. I am doing it big on a Friday. All right, y'all. Um... You already know I was buying this palette regardless if it was sent to me or not. And I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all this is going to be top five for a depth. I hate to say it. It might top Heather Austin, which is like my reigning favorite. So I'll have to do a ranking at some point. I've never ranked my adept palettes, but this might be number one. I'm almost certain this is number one. Yes, because this is something that I will wear every day. And I don't know, I have to look at the other palettes and see, but this is just, this color story is so great. And I just love when brands top themselves. I don't know how, how they do it, but Adept definitely top themselves. As far as performance, this is consistent with their recent palettes, Inspired, Sumerian Sunset, um, Element 115, Seahorse, all of them, they are just... Great quality palettes, Heather Austin, Amunet. It's just every palette. I have just really enjoyed my adept palettes. That's why they're up there when it comes to brands for me. It's the performance, it's the color story, it's the vision, the inspo, all of that. And I am really enjoying the brand. So I'm just so glad I found them. I wanna say at the end of 2020, I cannot wait to see what else they are gonna put out this year. As you saw, I use blush, I use the uh, bronzer. So, I mean, aside from eyeshadows, she's come out with some wonderful products. So they're always on my radar. Let me know how you feel about the brand and whether or not you plan on purchasing this palette. Give me all your thoughts in the comments. So again, this palette releases today, February 2nd at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. Let me know your plans. It is $62. I did share some codes at the beginning of the video. So make sure you take advantage and get 10% off. Unless you have the 15% off email, definitely use that. And I am going to get on out of here. Thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me for another one today. I hope this was therapy for you. It always is for me. And until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself nice. Stay safe. And I will definitely see y'all in the next one. Bye. Pom pom butt and yellow brown. Next we have a pom pom button. Pon pon, pom pon. Next we have pom pon button, and what is it? Yellow brown in. Next we have pom pom, pom pom, pom pom. Okay. Next we have pom pom button. I can't. Is it pom pom? Pom pom. Lord, 
pom pom button, I can't say it right, and yellow browning. Go on, block your 